Hello and welcome to the class. I'm Jisha Peters Joseph, Assistant Professor of English in NRG. So here, after dealing with the technical vocabulary, we'll go for the task. Task one, fill in the blanks using suitable terms from the box. So there are some technical terms given in the box and you have 10 sentences. You have to fill in the blanks with the words given in the box. So the first one here is a falling dash means that the country's goods and services are losing economic value. So a uh, falling GDP. Okay, a falling GDP means that the country's goods and services are losing economic value. Next, the chemical reaction was triggered by the enzyme, which was the catalyst. Dash is a type of cybercrime in which confidential information is stolen. Phishing. Next, viruses can infect a computer when we open email attachments. Next. Uh, dash waves have a frequency. Ultrasonic waves have a, have a frequency about 20,000 hertz. Next, the meeting to discuss the dash report of the company. Um, what is the quarterly report of the company has been delayed by 15 days. Then seventh one, dash and acquisitions have been, become the order of the day in current business world. Mergers and acquisitions. Swimmers use the buoyancy of water to their advantage while swimming. Please approach your line manager for any concerns you have over your annual appraisal. I have set up a filter on my email to avoid spam. Okay. So we'll go to the next task. We'll go on to the these. Uh, you have to fill in the blanks with these sentences. So, what about the ne next task? We have another exercise on this. Yes, task two. Here, match these terms with their meaning. So, in, in one column, you have the term. In the second column, you have the meaning so how do you match these terms so the first one is permeability so what is the meaning of the term permeability permeability means so which which term uh, goes with that so it is d property of a material that lets fluids diffuse through it to another medium so one matches with d next you have bitcoin bitcoin what is the meaning of that word so th that you have the last one day age a digital asset designed to work as a currency next you have backup backup so where do you have the answer or the matching for uh, backup? It is again G, a resource that can be used as a substitute when a primary resource fails or a file has been corrupted. Next you have culvert. What is the matching or the meaning of culvert? Culvert, you have B there, a tunnel carrying a stream or open drain under a road or railway. Next, you have cantilever. Now, what is the meaning of that? Fifth one. So, what matches with that? Cantilever means a long projecting beam. A. Cantilever means A. A long projecting beam or girder fixed at one end used in a bridge or construction. 
Next you have pixel. Now what is the meaning of the word pixel? Basic building blocks of a digital image. What do you mean by pixel? The basic building blocks of a digital image. And then you have smelting. Now sm smelting, what is the meaning? A metal extraction process, that is C. Smelting matches with C. A metal extraction process in which an ore is heated at high temperatures. Next, we have machine learning. So what is the meaning of the word machine learning? So the answer is F, an application of artificial intelligence that provides systems the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. So these are the meaning. This is task two related to vocabulary, technical terms. So here in this unit, you have vocabulary and under vocabulary, you have technical terms. And under technical terms, you have first computer-based technical terms, then terms related to engineering and technology, and then you have business related terms. And after those, after reading those two things, you have to do these two tasks. The first one is fill in the blanks with the words, technical terms given in the box. And task two is match the terms with their meanings. The term and the meaning is given for you. You have to match the following, for which the answers I have already told you. So we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.